There's kind of this murky ground between philosophy and science and art that virtual reality is kind of like a sandbox for exploring. Um, my name is Ashley Bacchus Clark. I am the director of research at Hyphen Labs. We are a collective of women of color working at the intersection of art, emerging technology, science, and exploring what futurism means in all of these spaces. Well, before Hyphen Labs, uh, I was doing research in a molecular biology lab. I, I'm a scientist by training. The spark for me to know that I didn't want to continue into a PhD program was one day I was going to check on my mouse colony and I would always get carded when I went down there. The person that worked at the desk was always the same person. And they saw us every day and one day it was like towards the end of my program I was like you know why do you always stop me but you don't stop all of the other people that come through the first door like if I have a key card and the person told me because I didn't look like I belong there that really struck me that I was working really hard in this program showing up every day you know really trying to finish something that was really hard and then to be confronted with this microaggression that you know just on top of everything else really proved to me that no matter how hard I worked, I would always have to deal with that. So that's when I took a, took a break and I was like, um, I want to figure something else out, how to really be in charge of my own story. I knew then too, towards the end of my program, that I really wanted to transition to thinking more about neuroscience. And then I read an article about Oculus. And, you know, after doing all of this, just kind of self-directed, uh, inquiry and reading about you know the future of our brains and artificial intelligence and how it kind of mirrors you know our, our own brain processes um, it got me really thinking about how VR fits within that after I read that article collaborating with Carmen and Edge at hyphen labs was a way for us all to think about the impact that emerging media has in our day-to-day -day lives and how our backgrounds gave us a unique vantage to think about how to play within the technologies. Carmen started off her career as an engineer, our, uh, Edge started as an architect, and you know, I, as I said before, I'm a scientist. So often we didn't see people who looked like us in our spaces, and our fields, and you know, we came together uh, and bonded through that. We wanted to figure out how to make something that created visibility but also extended what was possible. We created this fantastical world where the, our main character, a black woman, is a neuroscientist and she is creating something called the synaptic lineage. So we put all of these like vocabulary words that you know you probably don't engage with outside of science or you've heard like in an article or you know, people talking about it because of Elon Musk, but we wanted to change the lens of who's talking about these things, who can be a scientist, who can like ideate and expand their thinking in these fields and like really bring it into a medium that's at a point of evolution where, you know, it's trying to figure out what it's becoming. And that's exciting because you can really kind of do what you want in the space. Just thinking about avatars and what avatars typically look like and stories they highlight. We didn't see anyone that looked like us uh, when looking in the 3D libraries. Most of the avatars of black women looked very uh, low poly. They were hypersexualized. They fit into this very kind of stereotypical view of what black womanhood meant. So we created characters you know, from, from scratch. So we're interested in how uh, virtual reality can be a tool for decreasing or impacting prejudice and bias. And there's been a lot of studies in the neuroscience space that have shown that this is a possibility. So we wanted to take it one step further by telling a story where our audience is embodied in a character, a, black, a young black woman, and taking them on this journey that we hoped or intended to be really empowering and seeing how that then relates to how people engage with 
black women, blackness in their day-to-day -day lives. Now when I think about it, I'm doing exactly what I imagined I would be doing as a kid. Um, taking my love for brain science and how it functions and building imaginative stories around it. Also trying to keep the rigor that I learned in my scientific training and apply that to something that can be subject subjective, which is you know telling a story from a particular point of view, but building metrics in to figure out how impactful those stories can be.